Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome. We are at the Gateway Playhouse Performing Arts Center of Suffolk County here in Belport. We had a special event today where we, my team and I, created a, an educational program based on the show Mooseltoe. If you think that you can help me, there's no time to second guess. I want to hear you say real loud, yes, oh Santa, yes. We took the play and we took the third grade Common Core Standards and we actually, the questions that Scott asked from the stage and the ones that are in the educational program are matrix back to specific grade three Common Core Standards in order to uh, enrich the program for the students and make sure that it was on target for them educationally. See with your soul, not just with your eyes. Reach for your goal, reach for the skies. It's all there inside, just waiting for you. You have to believe to make it come true. What struck me the most was pretty much every child there was totally focused on what was going on on stage. They were participating, they were actively listening, answering the questions correctly. For many of them, it may have been their first experience with live theater, and you know that's something special as well. Where for warmth, keep it close to your heart. For no matter where you go, and no matter what you've done, this will always be your home, and you will always be my son. We funded a grant that Scott Allen put in front of the Education Foundation to support the Musuto event. The Education Foundation is funded by the community, by the residents and the business owners. And what we do is we try to achieve uh, and support grants that enhance the lives of the students in the district. And this actually worked very well because it's a theatrical show that also tied together a core curriculum learning with the school district and also we had support from the East End Bus Company that supported the transportation to the students. It's Blitzen! He's sick! Sir, sir, he was giving a ride to an elf girl named Peg when he stumbled and fell and he broke it in his leg. Seeing a book or seeing a, uh, a video of something is always very interesting, but if we have the capability with a homegrown theater like the Gateway right here in Belport to leverage it so the students can get the experience from end to end, some who may have never been in a theater before, can really tie together the curriculum with the learning and actually see it visually and really have a great experience. Don't let them tell you you're no good. Don't let them bellow, call their bluff. Make up your mind, you're falling behind. It's time you start to get tough. I am the master puppeteer, so I puppeteer Snowball. Um, I am also the puppeteer of Gus the polar bear, and I am also the eyeballs of Moose Mountain. I want to be a reindeer and help old Santa sleigh. I want to be a reindeer and sing jingle bells all the way. The show is about a moose. He wants to grow up and be one of Santa's reindeer. And everywhere along the way, people are telling him, no, 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 no. And finally, someone says, you need to believe in yourself. And that dream actually somehow happens magically. A moose that can fly? I'm sure he's a quack. Come on, let's find him so we can all get back. It's actually a beautiful life lesson in believing yourself and to holding on to the dreams that you have for yourself. We need help that 